to me, a game changer is somebody who doesn't have to follow the rules. Hey, Henry. How's it, how's it, how's it? They create their own rules. They're not driven by boundaries. You're in a position in which you're willing to and wanting to create and generate your own journey and tell your own story, not be confined and defined by those around you. Just by my mere existence in this space, I'm changing the game already. I'm trying to shift the narrative and trying to pave the path for those to come. My love affair with coffee um, started in 2017. To take it back, my love affair with entrepreneurship started in 2013. And what I was really passionate about was how it is that I could create something from the ground up and impact some level of change within my community. And as soon as I fell in love with coffee, I immediately was able to see the connection between the two. Coffee is the perfect vehicle to generate socioeconomic change. And that's pretty much how we began with Monato Coffee. When you start your entrepreneurial journey, if there's one lesson I can give you is that you have to be an integral part of that process completely, especially in the infancy of the business. And when I speak about infancy, I don't mean the first year, I don't mean the second year, I mean the third, fourth, fifth year. You still have to be completely hands-on. So even with certain suppliers that we work with, I don't even refer to them as suppliers, I refer to them as partners. These are people that we build relationships with and I keep very close contact with them so I can understand exactly what is happening at every single point within the business and within the, the development of the coffee. I can tell you right now, you don't want somebody else to run your business for you. You don't want somebody else to hold your business hostage. So understand every single point of your business in order to be successful. People buy from people at the end of the day. Um, we understand that we have a good quality product, but it's not necessarily only about the product itself. It's about the experience that we are able to communicate and portray, um, and how it is that we are able, able to engage with our consumer. So at the end of the day, if a person comes in and they have a poor experience with myself or with any of my um, baristas, they're not going to remember the cup of coffee. They're going to remember the experience they had in that moment. Every morning, before you look to serve your first cup of coffee, you're the one who has to have the first sip. Um, in the morning, when I enter the store, before anybody else enters the store, I pull my first shot and I make sure that it's perfect before I'm able to serve the customer who's going to come. If I'm not happy with it, I don't mind wasting 20 shots until I am happy. That whoever's come, gonna come forth and order a cup of coffee can say, oh, I had a beautiful cup of coffee at Moonlight de Coffee, I'm gonna come again. The reality check of entrepreneurship, it's not for the faint-hearted, but it's not impossible either. If there's one huge lesson that I've learned in entrepreneurship is that you have to be passionate. You have to love what you do. I work 14 hours to 16 hours a day, and I do that six to seven days a week but I do it with love and I do it from a place of love. And that's the only reason why I'm able to smile every day and, and make other people smile. So passion first. If you don't have the passion and the heart for it, don't get into it. At the end of the day, uh, I want to be here because I want to be able to make a difference. Um, and I want to be able to provide the opportunity for financial freedom for me, my family, and by family, I mean my community.